Hello Food Day friends! Today's video is part one of new Chikahoto Silver Fox brushes I picked up. I did not purchase the entire set up front, only the brushes that interested me the most and were available at the time of purchase. There will be a part two once I place a second order with other brushes in the series. I'm happy with my decision to break up the orders as it allowed me to play with this new hair type first. I also like when companies allow you to purchase brushes individually versus an entire set. The two brushes I purchased are the F01 powder brush and the F02 foundation brush. These brushes have different handles that I had never seen from Chikahoto before. They have this light colored exposed wood. I love seeing the natural wood with a matte green handle or ferrule that says uh, Chikahoto on it along with the name of the brush. The handles have a slight indentation near the center of the handle which makes it easy to hold and the length is medium for a handle. It's very similar to the Z series in terms of length and weight. Overall, I find the handles to be quite elegant and aesthetically pleasing. The only con is that to elevate the appearance of these brushes, I think they could have used a slightly heavier handle because the brushes can feel a little top heavy, especially when you're holding them near that indenta indentation point. The hair, however, is absolutely stunning. It has this gradient from a light brown at the tip to a silver white at the bottom. So it's darker on the top, and as you get to the bottom, the hairs turn grayish white. I enjoy the gradient effect. I think it's also nice because dirty brushes will appear uh, less dirty as you use them due to the darker color at the top. I admire Chikahoto for bringing something new to Fude. Chikahoto is the industry's first manufacturer of Fude to use silver fox hair in makeup brushes. Their website describes this hair as rare, with a softness comparable to gray squirrel, but with the strength of goat. For the purposes of the softness survey, which will be linked below, if you have these brushes and are reviewing them, please compare them to squirrel brushes. For example, if you rank them a three, that's saying that the, it's, it's the same softness as your average squirrel, four would be above average, two below average, and so on. Quick reminder on the survey, it's intended as a resource for everybody, whether or not you're able to complete it. If you don't have any of the featured brushes, please leave it blank and submit the survey with blank. This will take you straight to the end where you can see the results. The survey is an attempt to more quantitatively measure softness from everyone's shared experiences, and I would really appreciate your collective feedback if you have these brushes. Also, last note is that the survey will include all of the brushes in this series. So we can keep them in one place and because there will likely be a part two video with more of these brushes from the series. Let's get into the details of the F01 powder brush. This is the largest brush in the series. It retails for 12,000 Japanese yen, approximately 110 US dollars as of today. The hair type is 100% silver fox. The ferrule is oval shaped and I would say the ferrule is on the small side for a powder brush. Here it is next to the Chikahoto Z8, which is a cheek brush, you can see that the ferrules are very similar in width and size. The brush has a medium density, but the bristles really open up near the top, middle and top of the brush. So at the base of the ferrule, the bristles are very tight and compact, but it really blossoms outward to create a more spherical shape versus a flat paddle shape. My experiences with the brush when I first got it were that I thought it looked quite small and skinny for a powder brush, but that's because when I got it, the bristles were really flattened in and I was not expecting it for it to blossom this much. And when compared to other powder brushes, which I will do in a little bit, I do think it's in has a similar um, bristle head size to other Chikahoto powder brushes, but it's not a huge powder brush, so definitely keep that in mind. My thoughts on softness are that I would agree that the softness is comparable to Squirrel. These brushes are just as soft as their Squirrel versions, and for the purposes of the softness survey, I would rate these a three or four, probably a four. 
Durability, only time will tell how well these hold up. But what I can say is that the bristles feel less fragile than squirrel. The bristles feel less fine and less flexible. So they have a stiffness to them when compared to squirrel without sacrificing whatsoever on the softness. I would describe the durability between goat and squirrel probably closer to squirrel. And I would still encourage everyone to be gentle with these and keep in mind that they are rare and luxurious bristle hair. They feel more resilient. However, for me personally, I will not be using them with liquids or creams. However, I do think you can use them over um, liquids, creams, tacky, dewy finishes. So for example, currently, if I wanna use a squirrel brush to set my foundation, I have to be very gentle and cautious. I don't do this often and I know many people don't set their foundation with squirrel brushes and they prefer to use goat bristles, but I do think that the silver fox hairs are resilient enough to do so, which would make these more functional than squirrel in this regard. I have set my foundation with these and it worked well because you maintain all of the softness of squirrel and you have added durability. Because there's not much information out there, I think, again, only time will tell to see how people love and use these. So if you have these, I would love to hear your thoughts on how you're using these, what's working best for you. Please leave it in the comments below so we can all learn from your experiences. Let's move on to the comparisons. Here is the Chikuhodo Z8, which is a cheek brush and the Chikuhodo MKMO, which is a powder brush. This one's actually being discontinued, so if you wanted this one, this would be the time to get it. The um, Z8 has a similar handle and ferrule size, but as you can see, the actual head is much smaller and flatter. And then compared to the MKMO, the bristles are of similar size and density. The hair on the powder, the hair length on the powder brush is 47 millimeters, whereas on the silver fox it's 45, so only a tad bit longer. And then I'll compare it to a slightly larger face brush, which is the Sonia G Face Pro. The colors of the hairs look similar because this one is dyed and undyed goat bristles, but they are different bristle types. And the Sonia G one is larger and has longer bristles. And then I took out the Fupa 14, mostly because it is one of the softest squirrel goat combination brushes I own. So I wanted to see how they compared in softness and indeed, the Silver Fox is small, um, softer, and you can definitely feel that when you use it. And then the last size comparison, because I know some of you have it, is this Hakuhodo B206. Let me change the background so it's easier to see. The Hakuhodo one has slightly longer bristles again, and is overall a larger brush. The best uses for the Chikuhodo powder brush I think are going to be all over face powder, uh, setting your foundation, buffing in powders or adding finishing powders. I think it'll work really well for finishing powders because it doesn't pick up too much product. So if you want a more sheer application, which I usually do with finishing powders, this is a perfect brush for that. Next, let's talk about the F02, which is described as a foundation brush. However, I would not recommend this brush for picking up cream or liquid products. I think you should think of it as a powder foundation brush only because I want to be careful in using the hairs and still being gentle with the brush. But that is a matter of preference. And if you do use it with creams and liquids, please let us know how that worked for you. This one retails for 10,000 Japanese yen, approximately $92. Again, you have 100% silver fox hair and the same handle. I believe they're the same length. They are. And the shape of this one is a flat top brush, has a completely round ferrule. The hairs are short and very densely packed. 
best uses are going to be powder foundation, but it is a bit on the small side, so it might be best for more precise application of powder foundation in certain spots where you want added coverage. I have enjoyed it for targeted blending in a circular buffing motion. It's so, so soft. But my favorite uses so far have actually been Color Cheek products. Bronzer contour, um, it fits really nicely underneath the cheekbone and it diffuses things very quickly and uh, effectively did not leave any patchiness. So similarly, I also used it for blush. I grabbed a very pigmented blush, I dabbed it in the pan, and then dabbed it on my cheekbones and diffused it in an outward motion. And it worked very well, no patchiness, very fast and very soft. I enjoyed it because it didn't pick up too much product and it diffused the product evenly and quickly. I will note that it performs closer to squirrel in terms of application and how much pigment you're going to get. It's better for a more subtle, sheer, natural finish. You can absolutely build it up, but it will require going back into the product and um, building it up versus go where you could get a stronger application with one swipe. These are some size comparisons. Here is the Chikahoto Z3, which is a contour brush. The length of the bristles on this one are 15 millimeters, whereas the Silver Fox one is 21 millimeters. So the hairs are longer, but more importantly, it's a much bigger brush in terms of surface area. I have used this for contour, and honestly, I prefer the Silver Fox one a little bit more as of right now. And then here is the Refer 17. This is a new brush. I'm still playing with it. Again, this one is a little bit smaller and has a smaller surface area. This is also described as a foundation brush. Let me put the black background so it's easier to see. The next one is a completely different brush, but I know some of you have it, so maybe it'll be helpful as a size comparison. This is a Chikahoto G5552, also a foundation brush or cream cheek products brush. And then here is the Sonia G Face 1. And lastly, and the one I think it's most similar to, is this Chikahoto Beautylish collaboration. This brush is the same as the Takumi T3, and it's the closest in size to the Silver Fox. The bristles on this one measure 20 millimeters. The Silver Fox one measures 21, so very, very similar. If you have the T3, Definitely use that as a reference point for the size of the Silver Fox because they're incredibly similar in term, terms of hair length, surface area, handles, and handle weight. To conclude, I want to note that I haven't had these Silver Fox brushes for very long. I'm still playing with them and figuring out how they will fit in my brush collection. I think these brushes will require some getting used to for myself and others because we are so accustomed to using goat, squirrel, and synthetic face brushes, and these do feel different. But so far, I have enjoyed their squirrel-like softness and added resistance. For these reasons, I think they will be loved by many. I've enjoyed both of these so much that I am already planning to place a second order to complete the set. Stay tuned for a second part. Please subscribe to be notified of this and other future videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching.